Andy Panama Hat, he's established himself as a pretty serious contender for next weekend's Palmerston House Irish St. Ledger after a terrific run in Arlington. Uh, yes, we're delighted with that. It was, uh, he's owned by an American syndicate, as you know, Team Valor, a uh, very high profile syndicate. So the whole Arlington trip was there, you know, the CEO Barry Irwin, he conceived that himself. So it was quite exciting. Uh, he went over there, we all made the journey, Chris riding him, and he gave a great account of himself, ran a great race just unfortunately was beaten on the day, but gave a great, you know, run a very solid race. And how has he come out of the race? He came out of it very well. Uh, he's a very laid back horse, and he took the travel, he took the whole, all proceedings he took very well, came home well, and we are at the, you know, we're very happy with him. And Andy, last year he won five on the bounce. He started off in handicaps rated 60. He's now rated 111. His rate of progress has been remarkable. Yes, he, uh, we liked him as a two-year-old, funnily, but he had a couple of issues. Uh, I think the main things that really were the, uh, the turning points, he had a wind operation on his, uh, what's called a tie forward between his two and three-year-old uh, career, and he also was gelded, and that has just relaxed the horse, allowed us to train him properly, and uh, I say was, I think it was part and parcel of his, his improvement that run in Roscommon, it was a remarkable effort. I think it was the first time that he has worn blinkers, but he almost dropped himself out at a very early stage and looked as if he was never going to be in contention. It was a remarkable race. Yeah, that, well, I, we spoke to Chris beforehand and he, I just said, now listen, you know, let's, you know, we've got to just make this happen. And he knows the horse well, so instructions are fairly limited. Out we went, when the gates opened, he wasn't the most enthusiastic participant that day. And I just, as soon as it happened and he was last in school, I said, well, that's, that race plan has gone out the window anyway, because we thought, well, you know, we'll try and be more prominent today. And that. So from there on, it was really up to Chris. And he just, I think in, in hindsight to him, he just thought, God, I can't go back in here and listen to what, what I have to say. So I think he just kept scrubbing away the whole way. And I didn't know, I just watched him go down the back straight and I thought, you know what's going to happen here but when he jumped onto the bridle and he came home he came home real well and although it was quite you know it was amusing it really did uh, endorse the fact that he runs to that level he's a genuine stakes horse last year at the champions weekend it was super they'd, they'd done a, a great job a lot of people you met throughout the industry had turned up and enjoyed the weekend so it looks like it's heading that way again so it's it's great